Say goodbye to your copper horns, but say hello to a host of shiny new items and features, including the recovery compass, echo shards, and finally, although it's technically not supposed to be here yet, spectator mode. All of this and more is available in this week's Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.19.0.24 beta. Hello and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock update video with me, Foxy No Tail, on the 14th of April 2022. Minecraft Beta 1.19.0.24 for Bedrock Edition was released with new features, items, blocks, and a whole bunch of fixes, so let's get into it, starting with the Warden. There have been no major updates yet, we're still waiting on its new Sonic Boom attack to come to Bedrock, although according to Alexander Ostman, it should be included in next week's beta. For now though, the main updates for the Deep Dark are focused on the new loot and updated blocks. The Skulk Shrieker got a few tweaks which include particle fixes as well as making sure you can't summon Wardens anywhere you want. They've done this by only allowing Skulk Shriekers generated by the world to have this ability. This means even though you can still touch them and move them to new locations and you can place them creatively, when you do that the blocks will lose their ability to summon Wardens. They've also fixed the Skulk Shriekers so they'll no longer try and summon Wardens in peaceful mode, which is quite the relief. Still in the deep dark and inside of the ancient cities, the reinforced deep slate blocks received some parity fixes to make them no longer movable by pistons. It's widely believed that these blocks will become some sort of portal in the future, but there's been no word at all from any developers on this. So right now they're just a block that looks like an end portal frame, behaves like an end portal frame, and was even called a mysterious frame in previous releases. But yet we're supposed to believe it, it's just a random block that appears in the world shaped like a portal. Okay then. Moving on, the ancient cities finally have some loot worth exploring for. They have added echo shards, which you can use eight of along with a regular compass to craft a recovery compass, which sadly doesn't point you towards another ancient city so you can actually find them. Instead, it points you to the last location where you died, unless you're in a different dimension or you haven't died yet, in which case it'll just spin around a bit. One thing that will help you find your way to an ancient city, however, is spectator mode. Spectator mode for Bedrock Edition arrived in the last beta by accident. It was discovered by the community that if you ran the command game mode 6 while flying in creative, you would enter spectator mode and be able to fly through the world. And this isn't like the sort of kind of spectator mode we had previously that was removed in 1.18. This is actual spectator mode, and according to Minecraft developer Cornerhard, it's going to be added to the game. But not until after 1.19, as it's still got a lot of work before it's ready. They're even going to be moving it into experimental mode, so there's no confusion that this won't be available when 1.19 comes out later this year. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future update videos. Above ground, there have been some changes too. Frog lights and frog spawn have some new sounds, and speaking of sounds, the goat horn is finally being added to loot tables in the pillager outpost, securing it as a feature for 1.19. Sadly, however, the copper horns didn't make the cut, and according to Mojang, the copper horn was a fun experiment that didn't quite live up to our design goals. They said it had overall positive feedback from the community, but they've decided to leave it out of the game going forward. Sad news for music makers, but the good news for music block placers is that the LA has received a huge buff to its behaviors allowing it to automatically regenerate health at one heart or two health points per second preventing them accidentally being squished burned drowned or swatted to death as they follow you around filling your inventory back up with all of the discarded trash that you threw out a moment ago another entity to get an update is the chest boat which now has a recipe for the mangrove variant meaning that these are now available in survival too the other new mangrove feature to get a fix is the mud bricks which will now give the correct number of bricks when you craft them and if you're a prolific slab placer like me, you'll be glad to know that in this update, slabs can once again be placed continually, meaning you no longer need to click every single one for it to be placed. And finally for me, but not for the changelog, there is a known issue in this update that interactive blocks such as hoppers cannot be shift placed continually without opening the UI. So while we might have our slabs back, they've taken our hoppers! There's a host of other changes and fixes in this beta which you can find out about in the official changelog from Mojang, and you can dive even deeper using the online tools on foxynotel.com. 
In fact, digging into this update, you can see there were way more changes to the LA that were listed in the change logs. The same goes for chess boats, frogs, and the warden, which all got hidden tweaks and changes. And they didn't mention the mangrove trees got huge changes too. Other things they didn't mention are that frog slimes and tropical fish spawn rules have changed, allowing them to spawn in mangrove biomes, and that the propagule was added to the wandering traders' trades. And over 27 new sounds and textures were added to the game. If you want to find out more about what's actually changed in the game, head over to foxynotel.com and check it out for yourself. And while you're checking things out, why don't you check out this video? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to like it.